Welcome everyone to Juno So Just Commentary. So we're gonna check out a video, of course, a video out from Thailand with Mac Queens doing some very interesting food video or Thailand street food videos. Of course, thank you very much for subscribing to Juno So Just Commentary. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. If you want me to react to video, definitely leave a comment below and I try my best to react to it. Thank you very much. Let's go ahead. Okay, so he is in Chomburi. I did a video about Chomburi in Thailand, of course. Oh, and a half again. Oh, that's very far again. Woo! That is looking like a very interesting restaurant. Wow. Yeah, it's looking very much natural. Oh! Oh, but I hope you have eaten your food before you watch this video because you guys told me, Shiba Sweat, you're making me hungry! I hope you guys ate before you guys watch this video with me as I react to it. Have your noodles or something enjoyed it? I just ate so I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> I like the setting, outdoor setting. Hey. Hey, hey! This restaurant is so cool. You get off the highway. How long did we drive off the highway? Like maybe five kilometers at least? About five kilometers wow. off the highway. And then all of a sudden you get to this wow. restaurant. Wow. Looks is pretty interesting and natural. Type of restaurant that I just absolutely love. love. Just yeah. a clearing in the coconut forest. Wow. I haven't even eaten yet. And already. I'm excited. Love with this restaurant. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Wow, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> not spicy, not eating. <laughs> Ooh. Coconut shell? Chef is giving us a taste. Uh, this is coconut shell. What? I don't know. I have definitely never eaten a coconut shell on purpose. <laughs> Other than a That's interesting. coconut shell shard, but it's soaked in water. Coconut shell or the coconut meat? Because the coconut shell is very hard. Wow. It's a little bit delicious. I like it. In curry, it's not bitter anymore. I want you to taste the raw one. Ah, wow. <coughs> what meat is that? I wonder. They're just showing us some of the ingredients they use here. The pineapple shoot. Pineapple. So the egg, egg, shrimp, like mix something. Wow, oh my god, look how quick that fire boy, you had the egg! <laughs> that is so serious, oh my gosh! Wow, that's not what I'm telling you, it's like, what? That just grew? <laughs> oh yeah, definitely Thailand seems very friendly. We made our own curry paste. Oh, wow, chicken, coconut shell. This is holy basil. Wow, nice. Smallest from my garden. Yeah, grow what you eat and eat what you grow. Why the crab? Squid. Oh, squid. Black ink. Oh my. Wow. <laughs> and if you look at the workers taking a picture of them too. <laughs> Wow. Fried pork belly with salt. Okay, no, no, but I like a fish meat, yellow skin. Holy fish, no flour in here. Oh, wow. Oh, I just got a. So, is that fish? What does she put in there? Wow. That's like. Oh, it's fish. Wow. Stop it! Oh my gosh! <laughs> and I like the fact that they're making it right away for you. Curry fire fresh cheese. Ooh, boy. Say a huge thank you to the skinny bib on Instagram. That's where I got this recommendation from to eat. Wow, here. we just watched them cook all of that. That is some dishes. seriously that delicious looking food. Like wow, that is looking interesting, guys. Cook those dishes. Wow, this is an amazing jungle restaurant. The baby's like, I can't wait to start to eat. <laughs> 
dishes, some unique ingredients, the passion that's oozing from this restaurant is, wow. is just very interesting. I wonder what is his favorite, his literally favorite meal from. <laughs> She's gonna have some really good milk, yeah. <laughs> I wonder what's his favorite meal from Thailand. And with a very interesting ingredient, which is pineapple shoots. And then he stir fried this up with a bunch of curry paste. There is some holy wow. basil in here. There are green peppercorns. And you can see the little white pieces. Those are the. And you guys explained to me that in some parts of Thailand, you can eat with your hands. Like some parts they're using the like um, spoon and fork. Wow. A special very rice when they would eat like that and delicious. Oh, that's my oh, first wow. bite and it's a winner. The meat is slightly tough, but like you want. Well, yes, it is it's ball, isn't it? Ball or white, like hard meat, pig meat. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. tough. That gives, you, that gives you a nice burn. They are meant to be tough. And then those, those Especially if they're wild. They're, they're softer than bamboo shoots. They're, they're really, really like silky crisp. It almost has a green curry flavor from that paste, but like in a in a ten times kind of way. This is wow. something I've never eaten, and it's called Gang Mugala. Gang Mugala. The chef gave us a t taste test of the the coconut curry, shell, coconut shell which yeah. has been sliced into thin strips, and it's young coconut. I don't shell. think in 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 um. Oh, it's young coconut shell. Okay, okay, not making sense because I know the the mature coconut shell is hard. Wow. <laughs> oh, look at that! That's unbelievable. Partly due to that ingredient, the wow. coconut shell. And they're the eating it with rice. The, That's very interesting that they're eating that everything. Ingredient. It's like they have to taste yeah. everything with rice. I think wants some. Next <laughs> up, this dish is called muba palakam. Muba palakam. Similar to a salad or a, a mixture, um, but it's a type of Thai dish. This one is made with uh, yeah the wild boar, and there's chilies in here. Look at that piece of wild boar. Look at that skin. Wow. That, that all natural. How come it's like a type of snake fruit? There's there's two different main types. Salak and hakam. Snake fruit. Hakam is the fatter one. It's like a sour. Wow. A lot of interest in meats. I mean, here it's only chicken, cow, goat, fish. Well, I mean, what I eat in eh? it. have some other things I don't eat. Oh, that is stunning. That hakam does have a little bit of a, of a fermented taste to it. A bit of a <laughs> the other guy don't say much, he's just like, mmm, mmm, delicious, it's speechless. <laughs> the seed? It's so sour. And then you can't eat the seed. It's like a hard seed, but you can Chew? just suck off uh -huh. that meaty fiber. It's so sour. <laughs> and like, almost like fuzzy in texture. What a stroke of genius to mix that with wild boar wow. and lots of chilies. And this dish right here is called Mukdam by Chilis. Yeah, black ink. This is all about black a, ink. There's squid with squid ink, so that's why it's so black. And wow! Type of oh, lad, lad! Gosh! Black ink from the squid? Jeez! Oh my gosh! That. Oh! I don't want that one! It's really like immediate <laughs> sweetness to it. And the ink from the squid. Wow, I never thought someone would actually use this. Wow. Little to nothing goes to waste in Thailand, I suspect. Because, for example, with the scallop, they use the scallop shell to prepare a meal. You don't eat this shell, of course, but it's like a recipe, one of the recipe to eat it on the shell. And hate is that they're actually using the ink out from the squid to make some. That looking nice. That looking delicious. But that, that ink is very interesting. I would have tried though. As though I'm feeling icky right now. The photo, this ink from a squid. No, oh, sorry. This one is a bit. Uh, whoa. Not the ink. Not the ink. Coconut milk. Oh, that looking like something I would enjoy. Oh wow. Coconuts in meals, oh my god, delicious! No matter what you put coconut in, oh my coconut milk. If you put coconut milk in soup, in gravy, oh, delicious. Yeah. Oh wow, that's the egg. Wow, it's not the best omelet. 
in the world. <laughs> interesting ingredients in here. There's salted egg. There's thousand year old egg. They there's a about a half a bottle of oil within this egg. Let's look at that cross section. Wow. This is a pretty sizable bite, but I really want to get the full experience of the best. Um, of the best. In my first bite. <laughs> Mm. Like How was it? Juices. Ooh. It's looking heavy. It's looking heavy. Salty? Yeah. It definitely is like a sponge full of oil. It's looking what very, very heavy. say for sure is that it will ruin you for all other it forms of eggs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> it's so oily. It's like the type of omelette that you want to eat at 3 a.m. Uh. I'm not going to tell you about this omelette. It's, I was right. It's undoubtedly among the world's greatest of all omelettes. Wow. It's like a warm blanket of egg. So Ooh, that looks very interesting. To use something called, called sauce pick, which is sort of... A ketchup? Chilies, but it's sort of ketchup. Ooh. I will be one to admit Chilies, it's, it's going to be hot. It's going to be good somehow with the salty omelette. Hey, it's gonna, that looks like it's interesting with the egg. Because I love chicken, not chicken fried, yeah, right chicken now. fried rice with egg. I love it. I love it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Actually, it said you should not go to sleep with heavy meals on your stomach. It should uh, how about pork ribs and cartilage with yellow, with yellow night <laughs> shit. We're standing in the same place before we ate. Yeah, but now we're we're ordering again. One thing that I forgot to wow. order that I wanted to order here is the. That's a good food this is some type of jungle yellow eggplant. So oh. he has just recommended a dish that he's gonna cook with it for us. We've been here for two hours and we just ordered another round of five more dishes. <laughs> <laughs> we could not resist. Wow. This is the type of restaurant that you just want to hang out all day long. Like they're so friendly. They're cool. They're so friendly. The breeze. I the like place. the open area. Yeah. I'm in love. I'm actually in love. Looks very delicious. <laughs> oh god, they got another! Oh, that's the first one. They actually. They ordered like a whole. Oh, that's looking nice. That chicken ball with snake fruit. Snake fruit is a. It's a real fruit. It's called snake food, but <laughs> it's like his expression is everyone is is like better than the one he just ate. You know, normally when you eat something, the first one will just like never like nothing will be compared to it. But like everything he eats is like amazing. Like immediately, and from those green chilies. Wow. You know how sour a lime is? Take that and double the sourness. What? <laughs> <laughs> but it's also sour in a little bit of a different way. It's not a citrusy sour. It's like a, almost like a vinegar sour. Uh, okay, next up we're gonna try the badu wow. pixo. They fried the catfish, slices of catfish. Catfish. And again, Never had that catfish. one. And then they stir fried it with. Actually, if you were to just look at this dish, you might think it's stir fried with green beans. Wow. <laughs> but since I saw them making the entire dish, I can assure you there are no green, green beans, beans in there. It's all straight up chilies and garlic. Oh. It looks I'm looking like it's gonna be hot. Oh my gosh! Again, again. In Thailand, I noticed they're leaving all these seeds in the peppers. Now looking nice. Okay, like fried chicken. <laughs> fried chicken. One bite of a chicken butt. That is just simple fried chicken, just deep fried with salt. And they said no. Is, is that the one they say no flour? Be among the chicken fried chicken hall of fame. It's so good. <laughs> I think the reason is probably because they're using local free range chickens. I did see some chickens running around back there. Those chickens. That <laughs> I don't think so. Local chickens like that, salt. their meat, it's, it's tough. Beautiful thing. It's tough. And they're very, they have a lot of fat also, I noticed. It's like even but it's healthier for you. But at the same time, it's like they're not oil big oil and fattish. But when you kill a, like a free range chicken, it have a lot more fat on the meat than the uh, um, factory fowl, so to speak, or chicken. Stir fried up with lots of curry paste, and the key ingredient that I wanted to try is the, the yellow eggplant. So you can actually see, these are actually like, is that cartilage? Mm -hmm. So you wow. can actually eat that. Do you think so? 
Oh my ribs. gosh, that's a lot of these pentacles. Let's use that once. And then also pieces of cartilage, which I think you can just chew all the way through. <laughs> nothing goes to waste in Thailand. Nothing. It's like they eat everything. That's great. As long as it's edible, eat it. Fingernail texture to it. But oh, that flavor. I just got some chili paste to the back of the throat. Oh, wonder. The yellow eggplant is almost like it's like a almost has a leathery texture to it. This has to be one of the greatest Thai restaurants wow. of all time. The owner has come That's over. That's a nice setting. She said we have to have one more dish. We gotta try the nok pa. Oh boy. Yeah. One more dish. <laughs> Jungle bird. That's looking interesting. It have a lot of chili looking like too. Okay, okay. Different from another uh, restaurant. Is it? <laughs> I like how they said it. Dessert. This is dessert, guys. This is dessert only. So we couldn't leave the restaurant without trying it. It's a version of pad ka pao, but like a bolan traditional version. Wow. It is made with a type of bird. Watch what this shit Max on it. Mac on it. Let me Max on it. Mac on it. If it's not spicy, I'm not eating. Oh. Oh, they like spicy food, I see. And they're just full, full green chilies in there. What's in the chilies? Oh my god! This is not burning your stomach. It's like a wild holy basil. There's probably just a head of garlic within that dish. Wow. Let's make this bite count. Oh, my god! They're making me like wow. Kind of go up your nose like wasabi. Oh, that's that is that's that looking very delicious. The crispiness of those bones, just like. It's like folded in there. <laughs> the basil is super strong and peppery, layer mm. upon layer of flavor. <laughs> and drink it down with a nice glass of water or coconut meal. water. And they ate everything. Exaggerating whatsoever, I can I can safely wow. say that this is one of the best Thai restaurants, Thai meals that I've ever had in my entire life, which wow. makes this. One of my personal favorite best restaurants, maybe that I've ever eaten at. <laughs> Everything about this place wow. is just perfect. From and they're right by the road. They're the nice. And the, the, everyone working here, and especially this location, sitting here under the tree. I could not be happier here eating wow. a meal. And if you're looking for some seriously spicy food, that if it's not spicy, like, I'm not eating. Keep on getting <laughs> inside your mouth for as long as you know, I can still taste all the flavors in my mouth right now. Um, what is what on the shit there? There's a black thing on the shit. What is that? Is that a mic? This is the type of restaurant that you should just fly. No, that's something else. What is that on the shit? Bangkok, and it's about an hour and a half drive from Bangkok. Drive straight here and eat, and then it doesn't really matter. What a lot of the places I can one and a half away. That's this is an amazing. That's a lot of traveling. I guess then again, if you're driving for that long, you will have to eat a lot. This, video, this time he didn't put a price on it. You didn't put a price on the food this time, nonetheless. You just want to take a nap and then order again. Guys, stop back. He ate a lot. The food is also here. We are happy you came. Awesome. Thank you very much for watching this video. Of course, subscribe to his channel. Check out the link of the original video below. And when you check out the video on the original yeah. video, it will take you to easy to channel and then you'll see the video for yourself. Of course, subscribe to Judas with just a commentary. Bye, Mark. Awesome videos, dude. <laughs> Thank you so very much, guys. Subscribe to Judas with just a commentary. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. If you want me to react to video, definitely leave a comment below. Thank you very much. Bye, guys.